but it is it's a thing of i think uh, a lot of comics too we're really easy be, it's easier for us to be vulnerable than it is for us to be for us to be like confident in our worth i think we lean way more vulnerable than we do like co- like just i can well, i can say a, a lot of things that are you know like deep issues with me i feel like i have an easy uh-huh. time being like yeah and i'm broken because of this and this fucked up thing happened I have an easier time doing that than I do being like, yeah, don't do that. Don't talk to me like that. You know what I mean? Well, that's because the material is generally kind of based on you being vulnerable. The The funniest stuff is failures and you yeah. admitting your flaws. So it's a weird sort of reward system where we get rewarded for the jokes and the material, which are based on your flaws. And then you kind of forget that that off the stage doesn't work and that just hurts you. So you don't have the confidence to know your value <laughs> when really you're not is- it's like it's like if you were like a stunt actor or whatever, and you're yeah. in action movies all the time. You're like, yeah, I walk through fire all the time, and then you walk through fire in real life. And you're like, I'm fucking burnt. I'm fucking burnt so bad. <laughs> it's all you right, but the value thing is the biggest thing. And what's what's interesting is like uh, like you you and Jay have been friends for like how many years now? Oh shit, like fifteen years. Like fifteen like, years, and so yeah. it's like when you think about your relationship, just the the the. The loyalty between you guys, the the you know, just fun, enjoyable, the fact that you got each other's back and all of that stuff. We you you love that in a relationship. And I mean we all have kind of relationships like that, that where you have good people around you and then you you know how important that is to you. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like like if you and Jay weren't friends that would be pretty fucked up. Like if the yeah. friendship ended. Yeah, so absolutely. we, we, we value what the friendship is. And I, and I believe that Jay would say the same thing about you. Um, but we don't, the thing that we value most, we don't think is valuable. You know what I mean? Like you, yeah. if I used to always say, anytime I counsel guys and stuff, I go, what would it be like to have you as a best friend? If yeah. they could clone you and you could be you as a best friend. Fucking and they go, lit. oh, that would that that would be <laughs> awesome. Like, you know, like I mean, I, I'm, I'm loyal and I'm kind, I'm generous, and you know what I'm saying. I'm not shady. I mean, you know, unless you're Wayne, then it's different. Yeah. <laughs> then you go, I, don't, I wouldn't want that to happen. They, um, <laughs> Andre, Andre's thing is, what would you be like as a friend? And Andre's like, hi, I'd be hi. That'd <laughs> be so cool, dude. It'd be fucking. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah. But it's 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 weird how we value those the, we value what we value to ourselves, and then yeah. when you come into relationships, then we start deciding what's important to the girl. Like I had a I had a guy that was counseling, and he was like, he, he from Puerto Rico. He called me from Puerto Rico, and he was like, oh, I met this girl. She's so pretty. And <laughs> she's all that woman, and she, she she always flirt with me. She kissed me on my cheek and both cheeks, and this. And then I go, oh, well, then he goes, what should I do? I said, well. Don't you ask her out he goes oh but i don't have a car and i go she she came to walmart every day to see you she flirts with you and any time did she ever go listen i'm not kissing you on both your cheeks because you have you don't have a car he goes no yeah. i go so then why are you putting these constraints in in the in the in the equation that she hasn't even added i mean dude i used to do that i was the king of doing that i went to uh university of arizona and i just Mm. i went on like loans and shit i went on my own dime and all the kids there were like rich kids from long island and san diego and all the girls there i never got laid in college because i was always like yeah well i don't have a range rover so you probably don't want to fuck with (laughs) and i never even gave it like a shot i wouldn't even Like if I would have had that kind of confidence, just to be like, oh, I know, I know my value. I was at fucking nineteen. I was living with a drug dealer, and I was like, do you want free weed? I can get you free weed. If he goes in the other room, I can fucking run in his room and grab a handful of it out of a bag. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, uh, I guess. <laughs> like, ah, but, Here's all the weed. Yeah. You wanna, and then not even ask to fuck him. If he comes in here with his gun, you gotta act asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and surprisingly, that didn't work. Yeah, I no, it never away. worked. School 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.